Welcome, 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 welcome back to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we are back with another episode of Quick Hits. It's going to be a fun one today. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Uh, it's eight to ten minutes a day to keep you up to, late, up to the latest on all boxing news and rumors. Um, obviously, today's show is going to be a good one uh, with all the heavyweight drama. But before we get into it, please... Like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Comes at you twice a day, every day. Um, quick hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Please like and subscribe, 3D Boxing uh, Blog, on all forms of social media. Also, Texas Boxing Scene, our second channel, our other channel, uh, where all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Uh, please like and subscribe and share that. Um, help us get to a thousand subscribers so we can monetize that and start donating all of the proceeds to the autism community in action. Talk at T A C A again, that goes to autism research and recovery. Hope all's uh, well. Let's get into the show, <clears throat> guys. This is going to be a fun one today. Um, so it looks like <laughs> we did a show yesterday. Um, on Fury and Wilder. On Wilder. Uh, and uh, I, I said that it could happen. I still think that Fury and AJ happens first. And now I got to go back on that. It looks like Fury Wilder is going to happen. And uh, Usyk is already pushing the WBO. Uh, Usyk is the mandatory WBO. He's been for quite some time. Um, and he's pushing uh, for for his opportunity, for his mandatory to be called. Um, obviously, that was going to wait. That was going to be on hold um, until this fight and the rematch was over. Now, Fury has to fight Wilder, and now Usyk's going to get his shot, or perhaps he should get his shot. I don't know what the WBO is going to rule. I would imagine the WBO is going to rule. I don't know how that's going to play in Eddie Hearn's head uh, because Usyk is going to beat AJ. I, I think Usyk dominates him fairly easily. I, I think Usyk wins most of the rounds. I think Wilder has a better chance to beat Fury because he's got that power than Joshua does to beat Usyk. I don't think Joshua's beating Usyk. So now you're never going to get that Joshua Fury fight, or at least not for Undisputed at this particular time. Right? Because Usyk's going to beat him. And I do think Fury's going to win. I do. Uh, so I think you're going to have Usyk and Fury. Um, you're going to have Usyk and Fury, but you're not going to get the, the, the big battle for uh, undisputed supremacy that, that you wanted that was going to bring $155 million site fee. It's not going to happen at all. Right? Um, so I, I think Eddie Hearn pushes with everything he can to make this fight happen now. So he doesn't lose that payday. Because once AJ loses, that payday's out the window, right? Same reason why Triple G won't fight anybody good. Because if he loses, he loses that Canelo, that trilogy Canelo money. That's not a risk he's willing to take. If Eddie Hearn is smart, he won't put Usyk in the ring uh, with AJ. Because U Usyk is going to win a fight. And AJ, I mean, look, Usyk versus Fury is a big fight. It's not AJ Fury. It's not even close. You know, AJ is the biggest star besides Canelo in the sport. Usyk's not. I mean, Usyk's got some drawing power, but he's not even as big a name as Wilder. Not even close. So, um, and we saw Wilder Fury did good numbers. It wasn't going to do what AJ Fury was going to do. And Usyk would do less than Wilder and Fury did. Still a big fight, but not anywhere near AJ Fury. It's interesting times, guys. It's interesting times. The heavyweight division is as good as it's been in decades. Decades. With these four guys, you have Ruiz, 
you have Joyce, you have a bunch of uh, Dillian White, you have a bunch of good fighters. Uh, but when you have that kind of talent, you're going to have these kind of issues. Everyone wants a piece of the crown. Again, I still think it's a possibility that Fury, AJ, comes off next, and, and here's how. Fury just fights AJ in August and decides to fight Wild in September. Um, should Fury beat AJ, um, let's just say he got injured. They either make you vacate the WBC, but who cares? You're already the undisputed champion, right? Like with Lennox Lewis beat Evander at Holyfield, he had to vacate a belt right away. But Lennox Lewis was the undisputed champion at that time. It was through belt era, right? Um, but no one cared that Holyfield fought Reese for, I think it was WBA. I don't really cares. Um, I don't even remember. It might have been the IBF. But like, nobody really cared, right? It wasn't like there was a dispute on who was the real heavyweight champ. It was Lewis. And if Fury beat a a AJ, Fury would be the real heavyweight champ. Even if Wilder won a vacated belt. Um, so I, what I think could happen, and I don't think it's unrealistic to suggest this, is that Fury just goes ahead, go, goes ahead and fights AJ in August and signs to fight Wilder in September and then postpones that fight to the end of the year. I'm being serious. Like, look, look I mean... That would be, uh, I'm sorry, the, the arbitrator gave him till September. Oh, this fight's scheduled in August. <laughs> All right, fine, I'll take both. You know, I, guys, I'm not being crazy, really. I, I, that, that is a for real possibility. Um, and if I was Eddie Hart, I'd push for that because <laughs> AJ is not beating Usyk. And you can you can timestamp this, you can say this, you can whatever. Usyk's going to beat AJ. I feel more confident in picking Usyk to beat AJ than I do in Fury beating Wilder. Because Wilder's got that power. You know, he's already dropped him, almost beat him. Right? Put him to a draw. AJ's slow. AJ's mechanical. Usyk's going to outbox him. Usyk's going to get the inside and outwork him. Right? Usyk's up to Cesaro's power. Shizora hits as hard as AJ does. Probably harder. Why can't Usyk stand up to AJ? Usyk wins that fight, I'm telling you. Um, and then on the other side, you know, but it's interesting times right now. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, our quick hits come you twice a day, every day. Please like, subscribe, share. 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Share this video. Hit the thumbs up. Um, hit the bell icon to get all notifications. Um, it is... May 18th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still out in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get the Iron Boy in the class of 2021. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.